Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Pokemon Legends Arceus. In the last episode, well, we uh, we finished all the tasks we have for uh, for Gogeta, so let's uh, let's get the hell out of here, I guess. Go back to uh, Kajita because we've got them all now. We've got Cresselia, we've got the uh, the Lake Guardians, we've got Heatran. You know, we've 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 got everything right now. That's all good. Let's see if we can craft some stuff. We can craft some Ultra Balls. Very nice. We can craft another potion. Why not? Ooh, three Stardust as well. Could certainly utilize those. Put all this stuff away. You! I'm here to take more of your money. Shopping, please. Uh, yes, have, have all of these. More money for me. Yes. Okay. Well, this is going to get me a little bit, extra, little bit more, really. Two new Pokemon. Cresselia and then Alpha Steelix. Very nice indeed. Three, about three and a half grand there. Not bad at all. Okay, and what new things do we get? We got Electivire all done. Very nice. Cresselia all done. Very nice. Very good. That's going to get me a little bit extra there. So really, we need the newly completed entries. To be honest, that's going to get us up the ranks a lot better. So we do really want those completed entries. Also, I can hear my ice machine's about to make myself some more ice. Sounds good to me. Okay. We need to go and report. There's an outbreak of Gumi there. Fair enough. Well, when we don't need that right now, at the moment. Right now, we are uh, very much looking into story mode. In the ancient retreat. With our team of... Mostly weakish Pokemon, <laughs> especially against what we've been going up against. Hello, we've resolved it all. Here you are again. Have you collected all the plates? Of course, Masterath is a famed member of the Survey Corps, after all. Only rank six, though. So, what more can you tell us? We're so close now. You must know more about the plates. If there's yet more you want to know. Kindly bring me wood. Three logs will do. Wood? Wood? So you're saying wood is somehow tied to the plates? No, she just needs more wood, I'm guessing. Well, I suppose that's what we'll get to learn next. Up to it, Mastrath. Well, it shames me to admit it, merchant that I am. I'm quite out of wood in my stores just now. It's a good thing that I've got some, then. I'm pretty certain I have three pieces of wood. Because I haven't really used much. So, let's just have a look. Uh, wood. Wood. Ah, wood! I have 18 pieces of wood. I have six times more than what you're asking. Can you just give me the other plates, please? There we go. I have gathered all of the wood you require. Well, I say that, I just took it out of my section. Oh, yes, this will certainly ought to do. Now, the moment comes at last. The big re re big reveal. What, pray tell, is the secret behind this wood? I bet it's... I bet... I'm going to say this now. I bet it's nothing. But she was just running low on wood. Secret? Your expectations need tempering, I fear. This wood is merely for fashioning myself new cutting boards. Knew it. C cutting boards? You mean for cooking? The plates we were after aren't dinner plates, so this is hardly the time for cooking. How you complain for one shirking his own work this very moment? Poor Ginter of the Ginkgo Guild must have his hands full with you. But honest work earns honest pay. Here you are, Masterath. A ward, a reward for the wood you brought me. Is it a plate? Ah, she had one! The pixie plate! A stone tablet imbued with the essence of fairies. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the fairy type. Lovely. That's what are the plates we were looking for. Ahem, uh, apologies. That's indeed one of the plates we've been searching for. What do you mean, a plate? Let me see that again. Hmm. This does look rather look like one of the plates you've been tracking down. While the engravings upon it 
made it less than accommodating as a cutting board. You've been using it to cut stuff on? Jeez, it is second hand and damaged. Darkies is gonna be there going, this is bleeding awful. To hell with you. And we die. That's pretty much it. Whatever ingredients crossed it certainly gained a more pleasant flavor. Perhaps that was the board's power. The plate's power, rather. What, to make things... Well, I'm sure Arceus would be happy about that. I'm sure. Well, no more need saying. What do you two intend to do now? Well, we've managed to collect quite a lot of plates by now. But I still don't know what we're to do with them, exactly. It's just a hunch, but perhaps we should look around... Have a look around Celestica Ruins. Those ruins contain statues of both Dialg and Palkia. They might hold more secrets. I see. A fine pretext to continue shirking your mercantile duties to crawl about in old ruins as you so enjoy. On with you then. I don't need you to tell me. I'm going. The Celestica Ruins, Mastrath. I'll see you there. That's my line. Thank you, Volo. We're only six minutes into a video. We're not ending the video yet. Go on now, to the Celestica Ruins. I'm curious myself what you'll find there. What can we who live now learn from the remains of our ancient myths and legends? That's uh, interesting, since uh, this is because this uh, game's essentially ancient. Well, at least the area is. So, yeah, sort of learning even more about the past from where we were previously. And the Sinnoh region, which is very much into the future in comparison to the past of this game. Okay, well, I think we still have, we still have one more plate to go. So we have to uh, meet up with Volo at the Sacred Plaza, which lies near the Celestica Ruins of the Coronet Highlands. Okay. Back to here we go. Again. 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 Okay. I don't want to try my hand at that Torterra, god damn it. I want to try my hand at that Torterra, but unfortunately Torterra is not here. Not in this area. Oh well. Flying will be administered. Go, Braviary! In fact, can you drop down a little bit? Not very much. I would like the Iron Chunk. For more Ultra Balls later on. That's the plan. There's some more wood there as well. Golducks. There are Golducks afoot. Okay. So yeah, we got to go up there. This is fine. Flying! A lot. A lot of flying. Ooh, more iron chunks. Oh. Thank you. More flying. Go! Okay, and then... Two Sneasler. Okay, just a bit of cl stop climbing trees. This sod. Speaking of that, I saw a Gliger over there. We don't have Gliscor as of yet. So that would be incredibly nice to get if we could get an Alpha Gliscor. Please tell me there's an Alpha Gliscor around here somewhere. I'd be quite happy with trying to catch that. That would be another one to add to our collection of Alpha Pokemon. And a Pokemon in general. That's a Graveler. Ooh, Alpha Golem would be nice. I'll, I'll take that. I'll take an Alpha Golem as well. No. That's a shame. There's Magna Zone up there. I wouldn't mind trying to catch that either. Could give it a go. Oh. Need to be a little bit uh, closer. Need for him to be in range. That's the thing here. Oh god. Nope, that was bad. That was very bad. Fly around, Braviary. Go on. Give it another shot. I can't seem to hit him from there. I have to attack him from above. From height! Dang it! <laughs> Bugger! That's going to be difficult. It's not like I can use, like, feather balls or anything, because they're bloody pointless, really, aren't they? 
He's he's not gonna come he's not gonna come far enough for me to hit him with that. So here's my best course of action, honestly. So maybe like lob a pokeball at him. I can't hit him from there. Oh damn. Damn it. Can you not just lob a pokeball when you No, it doesn't seem you can. Hmm. Doesn't seem you can actually lob a Pokeball from where you are. It's rather annoying. Would like it to fight him. No, we can't. Okay, well that's pointless then. We need better Feather Balls. We may need better Feather Balls for that guy. Unfortunately. Magnazone would be quite a nice uh, addition, though, obviously. Seems to be having to go down the whole route of Magnemite instead. Alright, go on, Sneasel, do your job. Sod. What's over here? Anything new? Ah, this is the place with the uh, Alpha Gabite, which then became our Garchomp. Nice place. Nice old place, this. Might as well do this to try and get some uh, Iron Chunks, maybe. Did get one. That'll do. Ah, oh, why are you an Alpha Gliger? I wanted Gliscor. Not Gliger. That's some ice. Lovely. I wanted an Alpha Gliscor. I wanted a Gliscor, not bloody Gliger. Didn't need Gliger. Yeah, 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 go away. Don't care about you. Oh, I'll take that Medicinal League while I'm at it as well, actually. There we go. Uh, who's low level? You're all sort of lowish level, I guess. Bar two of you, who are just incredibly powerful. I'll just slide down here. chest here. Might as well uh, break this open. A Pokeball! Hurrah! Got a nose pass there. Already have one of you. Uh, that's a Pokemon in there, so we don't really need that. That is fine. There's a Pseudo Wudo there. It's a Swudo. You're here too. Get you. Oh! Well, there's a Pokemon in there. Might as well give it a go, see what it is. Boom! It is a Voltorb! Okay, level 41! Uh, meet the power of... Outrage, I guess. Uh, I need to run. Oh! Volt Voltorb avoided it, that's not great. And now fun- Ah, you fool! No effect on Cephadrome! Aha! You fool! You lose! You lose at the hands of the mighty Cephadrome. Got ourselves some good stuff there. Okay, more Gligers. Alright then. More Gligers. Uh, any Gly scores? Be quite nice. It'd be really nice if there were Gly scores here. It'd be really nice. Or Alpha Golem. Either or would be. A blessing right now. Unfortunately, I do not believe that you're going to have that. It's a bit of a shame. Ah, well, I'm out of it. See ya, suckers. Okay. And back to you, Sods, again. Including the Alpha over there. Uh, I don't really need you. I thought that was a Wisp there. It wasn't. It was a Castafern. Ooh. Ooh. Hello there. Alpha Voltorb. Level 57 Voltorb. That's quite powerful. Ow, you went boom. I hope that did damage to you. Unfortunately, I uh, know it didn't. Okay. Oh, energy ball. That's going to suck for me. Not as much as this outrage is for you, though. Go, Cephadrome. Outrage. Oh, nice. That's not bad. Energy ball, okay. Oh, Cephadrome. You're alive. I have the power of Ultra Balls, though. And I'm going to chuck one at you. Might as well try and catch it, to be honest. Might as well. Got it. Hurrah. You're level 57, so that's quite powerful. Also, we got an, uh, we got an experience candy. Small. Specifically. 
So I'm going to be utilizing that. Uh, on who needs it? Who needs it? Uh, I mean, yeah, it's Cephadrome who actually needs it right now. So there you go. Smash. All right. Volo. Have a look at this, Mastrath. Okay, I'm looking. It's a bunch of rubble, from the look of it. The statue has been kept here, far from the statues of Dialga and Palkia. Broken and shattered, and yet it remains. Do you know what it, do you know what it is? Uh, is it Arceus? Potentially? Of course you would. You're the greatest wielder of Pokemon this land knows. The one who could even uh, who could bring low even Dialga and Palkia. And the rest. This crumbling statue once was a figure of a Pokemon. One that was equal to both Dialga and Palkia, yet banished from our world. Ah, Giratina. Gotcha. Okay. The great Pokemon Giratina. It was banished for its violence, left to dwell in a world on the reverse side of our own. It is a being that has laid to wait for the chance to bear its fangs in defiance and tear down Arceus itself. Now tell me, if Giratina desires more than anything else to challenge Almighty Arceus, what do you think it, where do you think it might appear? We'd expect the Temple of Sinnoh, right? Surely. Exactly. Where one is closer to the heavens than any other place in Hisui. And where the space-time rift first opened. Uh... Volo? I can feel it. We're getting closer to uncovering the secrets of this world. I dare say the excitement is loosening my lips more than it should, but... You see, ever since I was young, whenever I met with something painful or heartbreaking... I couldn't help but wonder why life was so unfair, why I was cursed to live through such things. Of course, I imagine we'll all go through something like that. Eventually, I chose to direct all my energy into my own natural curiosity and ambition. And what tickled my curiosity more strongly than anything were the mysteries to be found in legends, in history, in ruins. You see, I fancied that by unraveling these mysteries, I could find out how the world itself came to be, and with that knowledge, maybe, even forge a new, better world. Now, if we can find the realm that exists on the reverse side of our world, and meet the creator's unwanted child banished therein, perhaps we'll be able to understand the nature of Almighty Sinnoh itself. Don't you see it with your own eyes? We must make for the Temple of Sinnoh at Mount Coronet's Peak. Dialga and Palkia both appeared from within the rift that once gaped open there, didn't they? If the plates can call anything at all, it seems likely that uh, that is where it would appear. Sure. I did not like your moment of insanity there, though, Volo. I'm going to be perfectly honest. And what's after me now? I'm going to guess it's going to be, yep, yeah, one of you. It's always one of you. It's always you! Get away from me. Alright, so we need to go up to the temple, do we? Alright then. To the temple we go! Fly! A bit. Ooh! Stardust! We'd very much like more of that! More Stardust, please! I would like some free money. Give me free money! Yeah! Some Stardust! Hooray! Alright, more flying! Don't need to worry about any of these guys. Because we have all of them already. So that's quite good. Can't go any further. Okay. Uh, that's a bit awkward. Fine, we'll go this way then. Uh, we can't go any further there either. Well, that sucks. I don't know how low I am here. Ah. Uh, fine. The, this way, I guess. We make a move this way, possibly. Go, Braviary, go! Nope, no, we cannot. Okay, well. How the bloody hell do we get up there, then? Okay, let's go to the moon view. Oh, didn't mean to knock my mic there. Apologies. 
Go back to the Moonview Arena then. We need to try and find a way to there. Okay, let's use let's use Weird Ear. Oh. Wrong button. Weird Ear, go! Run a lot! Do lots and lots of running. Avoiding everything because I don't care about it. Go! Go! Hello, Virage! Number two. Not as good as Virage number one. Can you stop that, please? That's rather annoying. Stop it. We do. Ooh! Free money! I would like more free money, if you don't mind. Go, Cephadrome! Yes, more Stardust! Okay, Sneasel. Oh, we can't go any further here. How the hell do we make it there to the temple, then? It's not through here. Okay, this is rather annoying. Ooh, Gliscor, please. Gliscor. I wouldn't mind seeing a Gliscor here. That'd be quite good. No, we have Machokes. Just Machokes. Great. Great! Machokes. It's exactly what we need. No, it is not. It is not what we need. We need to make our way up there. But it seems like we're being blocked for some reason. I mean, we can't even use Braviary to fly there. Which is rather obnoxious. There we go. Go, Braviary. There we go. Nope. Can't go any further. We don't go through here, do we? We might do. We very well have to. Yes, we do. Yeah, we do. Never mind, I'm dumb. I'm dumb and silly. Seems like we're getting close, though. Lots of good amount of iron... Oh, Sneasler. Stop it. I just wish the iron chunk to be mine. For more Ultra Balls at some point. There we go. Okay. Come on, quicker than that. You can run faster than that, you fool. Go! Yeah, we go through here because invisible walls say no. Well, here we are again at the Temple of Sinnoh. Back to the top of the temple we go. Didn't mean to rhyme, but you know how well. Okay, sneeze luck. Can you just do this quickly? Volo's up here. Okay. Okay. 